Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 16th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes and a look at world weather. A little different live stream here for you today. Daily Do coming to you from the live stream. Anybody in the chat right now, not too many people in, that's okay. So we're always going to start out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours as we did have eight earth-facing sunspots and the sun has been producing minor activity for the past 48 hours. C-class solar flares other than the 1M-class solar flare reported two days ago. Looking at the last 48 hours, plasma filament eruption in the southeast M-class solar flare right here. Plasma filament eruption in the northern hemisphere. And as well, some activity. Pretty large activity right there. Northwest region of our sun cresting in. And we do have some space weather heading our way. Brought to you by C-class solar flares earth facing position and as well plasma filaments destabilizing and erupting from the surface of our sun having a look here at our magnetosphere and as well lasco 2 showing the last 48 hours of imagery right now our earth is being showing here our magnetosphere for pressure planes huge bow shock as earth has been penetrated by something here over the past 6 and 12 hours Right there. A lot of pressure put on us there for a short amount of time. A lot of backdraft action coming from this large bow shock. Some ACE real-time solar wind is reporting a wind speed jump up to 1,100 kilometers per second. No major CMEs showing here in the last go two. But we do have something on the way. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, you can see a couple CMEs taking off from the sun early today. Looks to be arriving quickly into the 20th and 21st of April. Right there. So a minor CME coming our way for April 20th. According to the ISWA Space Prediction Spiral. And there were a couple more not reported here in the diagram. Solar X ray flux remains in the C range, minor activity. Real time solar wind was sitting at about 390 kilometers per second and has been pretty steady over the past two days except for these last couple jumps here with the bow shock showing our magnetosphere pressure planes on planet Earth. I'll have a quick look here at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. As it's been pretty quiet, USGS only reporting about 155 earthquakes across the USGS map. Looking here at Earthquake 3D, brought to you by Walton. Pretty deep earthquake there, Banda C. Deep earthquake in Fiji. And as well, a rare earthquake here, Indian Antarctic Ridge. That was a 5.0. Also, some increasing activity across the African plate over the last 24 hours. Tanzania, right up by the Urt Ale volcano, north of Somalia, and as well close to Egypt. A couple earthquakes in Turkey. 4.4 4 earthquake here reported in Svalbard, North Pole. And most notable here are the increasing earthquakes across the central. American plate. Having a look at the last 24 hours. 
subduction zone off the coast of Puerto Rico. Looking here at USGS, 5.2, Codrington, Antigua, and Barbuda. And as well, Guadalupe, 5.1 earthquake. Across the U.S., no major swarms to note out. But increasing activity through Northern California. Up into the start of the Juan de Fuca with Ferndale, 2.4. And as well, Langua, Oregon, off the coast there, small, 2.8. But as I said, a pretty quiet day, 149 earthquakes in the 24-hour period. I want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. As I said, this is a different update. This is live. If anybody's in the live stream right now, they're listening to this and watching it. And it will be released here shortly. Having a look at world weather, I wanted to give you an update on the SO2 cloud that Shevelich had created across the Northern Hemisphere. It is situated, situated right now over Alaska and parts of Northern Canada, up into Greenland, but low pressure system through Ontario right now is sucking down a lot of that SO2 and ash from the large eruption at Shevelich off the coast of Kamchatka, or sorry, on Kamchatka Island here, eastern Russia. Other than that, no major eruptions to talk about. As well, no new volcanoes awakening or erupting. But put this into motion here, and a lot of this SO2 and ash sinking down into Canada. Air quality advisory will be in effect this week, but cooler temperatures after this intense low pressure system heading across the U.S. right now. Let's give a quick look here at world weather. Putting this into motion, we do have that low pressure center affecting the United States, Gulf states, and as well now into Ontario. Low pressure system off the coast of BC. Center is well off the coast. Behind that, there's quite an intense cold front. Snow is falling as well through parts of north central United States. Snow is falling and as well some pretty intense hail over the past 24 hours from this low pressure system that was scooting across. It was a Colorado low that came from East Pacific. Just wait for these images to load up. There we go. Put this moisture map into motion here. Five-day forecast for you overlooking in North America. Looks like this low pressure system will scoot straight north to the Hudson Bay as forecasted here the other day with daily events worldwide. No tropical systems developing in the Atlantic right now. No Pacific cyclones or typhoons to talk about e either. So not much has changed since last update. But overlooking forecast models here into Friday. Extreme weather through southern states, Gulf states, Saturday into Sunday. And then a low pressure system comes from the north, bringing some more snow to parts of northern Ontario. Snow still falling across interior BC, Washington, Oregon, and into parts of Utah. Monday, you're going to see an extreme weather event, coastal regions, the Gulf of Mexico, as a low pressure system that scoots eastward and may affect the eastern seaboard. Quick look here over the rest of the world. As I said, no major cyclones or typhoons, hurricanes developing in this long range. Just some intense rains through South America. Daily evaporation rains. 
large low pressure system in the North Atlantic, eventually going to scoot northeastward towards the United Kingdom and Ireland. And in this forecast from windy.com, not showing any major weather situations developing. Just still some intense low pressure systems across both hemispheres right now. Please check out the latest video to see what's going on. But you can see them right here in the North Pacific, large low pressure system south of Kamchatka, huge low pressure system just north of Hawaii. Definitely going to be bringing some high winds, high surf towards the region. As well, low pressure centers here in the southern hemisphere. Quick glance at your world for weather. I want to thank you all for tuning in tonight. This has been Mike with Dilly Events Worldwide, keeping you aware and prepared to earthquakes, space weather, and world weather. Our sun, a little bit quiet right now. 10% chance of an X-class flare from these eight sunspot regions. Again, much love, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware, prepared. Stay young and have fun. Get your daily due. Bye-bye now.